So you know how when you're dealing with a slide and you have lots of different layers on it and you want to edit some of those objects, but now you have so many layers built up that you can't see that object or, or edit it in a really easy way without just moving things around. And there is a really easy way to work on it. So let's take a look at an example. Well, let me just show you how it's supposed to play. And here I'm just talking about aspect ratio, so don't worry about the content. So, okay, so that's one level there. And then I have text coming in, so that's, that's a different layer, another layer on top that movie image and then this movie image and then this movie image okay so here it is let's say i want to edit back to the future well how can i do that unless i move things around let's say i want to move back to the future to the second level or to the top level for example i don't want to do that but let's just say for an example well how can i do that well there's a really easy trick for that it's not really a trick but it's kind of a trick since most people don't know how to do that so you go here to view and then go to show object list and there's a keyboard shortcut for that too, which is just command shift L to move it away or to bring it back. And still another way to do it is simply to go up here to view and object list. So, okay, here it is. And now you can see that these have been grouped because this text and this image right here is together. So that's why it's a, it's a group. And then here it's just, that's Mad Mad World. There's Maverick and there's Back to the Future and then some groups of text. And then the one on the very, very bottom is that um, kind of theater image, right? So things on the bottom are in the bottom. This is not animation, it's just the layers. So if I wanted to go back to the future, Great Scott! and I wanted to move that up, let's say, for some reason I wanted to, um, maybe that's the way I wanted to play, or I can just edit it here. I can edit it anywhere, but I can't really see it. So let's say I come here and then I can just edit it, change the color, whatever I want to, I want to do, and then I can move it back. I know that goes uh, after Maverick, right? So that's a really, really easy way. So again, that's under view and hide object list or show object list, or just the easy um, keyboard shortcut of command shift L. This is really, really a, a lifesaver, a time saver. It'll make your workflow so easy. And I just keep this open all the time. You can always hide it, but I just find it's really not uh, troublesome. So I just keep it there all the time. And it can be open for any slide that, you, that you're working on. So you can see this one has a lot more elements in it or objects. Apple calls it objects. I call it elements in the layers. Okay, let's look at uh, Microsoft now, PowerPoint. Okay, so in PowerPoint, it's a very similar idea. So here's my sample slide. It has a few elements in it, different layers. And for example, right here, the, the Sakura trees, I want to edit them separately from this, but I, this layer is over. I can't get, it's really hard to get to it. So how can I look at the layers? So what you need to do is make sure you're in home, click on the photo, then go to picture format, and then it's this one, selection pane is what you want to select. So I always have picture or format picture open here and then selection pane. I just always keep it there. So if it's not there, which is possible, then it might not be there. So just make sure you go to selection pane. That's what it is on the Mac, on PowerPoint on the Mac. And then you can get all these different layers. And the great thing about PowerPoint that Keynote doesn't have is that you can turn off the layers just like this, and then you can kind of get a better visual on the things you want to work on. But otherwise, it works the same way. So for example, this is a background image. If I move it to the top, it's going to cover up everything because now it's on the top. So I'll just move that to the, the bottom, right? So it just works the, the same way. So selection pane for PowerPoint. Mm -hmm.